guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I replace slash put in new drawstrings in my point shoes. Let me just start by saying I've been in this situation many times before where either you accidentally pull your drawstring out or you need to replace it because they come with these ones and you need the elastic ones in it. I've been in this situation literally so many times because I always pull them out because big brain. I just got these point shoes from Suffix and they come with these drawstrings in it and I don't like those. I really like the elastic drawstrings. My last pair had those because I bought them at the actual dance store and they were able to put them in for me. Um, but you know, with quarantine and everything, I had to buy them online. So I was trying to figure out what to do. So I pulled the elastic ones out of my old shoes and then I put them in the new ones and I'm going to show you how to do that with just a bobby pin. I've done it with this kind of bobby pin. I hope that you can see that. Um, this one worked. I did it with my, I did it with this shoe. I did that. I am going to try the next one with this one. It is a very thick and strong bobby pin and um, the top right here is thinner so I think it'll be easier to push into the shoe. But either will work, just get a bobby pin. You'll either start here, pull your old last, your, your old drawstring out. Or you'll be starting here because you accidentally pulled it out in the first place. So basically what you're going to want to do, take your drawstring and put it in the bobby pin like this. And then you're going to take it, tie a really strong knot, just pull it really tight. It should look like this. I'm going to try to show this as best as I can. So then take your um, bobby pin and kind of shimmy it in here and then start pushing it through. Already you gotta kind of straighten it, just push. You just kind of gotta push it until it starts to move. It is hard and your fingers are gonna get sore, but just kind of push it and then pull it. I'm trying to get the knot through. Getting the knot through could be a challenge. So I successfully have the bobby pin and the knot through it here. And basically just take it, push it, you know, keep your finger here, push the bobby pin through, and then straighten the fabric. It's a long process. It's going to take a bit and your fingers are going to hurt. So once you get to the back here, if you have your um, elastics or ribbon sewn on, that could be a little hard depending on where you sew them. I sew my elastics like this on the top of it and the bottom, so pushing the bobby pin through can get a little challenging. So if you're doing this to a new pair, then I would recommend doing it before you attach any elastics or ribbons. If it's fallen out, I mean, you can still work it out. You might have to take out some of the threads if you do it on the top like I do or something, um, but you'll be able to get it back. When you're coming around back to the front, I'm about here, just try and pull this straight because getting the bobby pin through is a little hard because it bends. Just keep going. I mean, you'll get it. It's just a lot of shimmying and patience and it's frustrating, but <laughs> it'll work. Front and like getting it back out is one of the hardest parts. Just gotta just keep going. <laughs> okay, the only problem with the angled bobby pin that I'm finding is right here, I can only get the front one out the first one because the other one's stuck right there just gotta keep i'll get it but i'm so close come on so i have my bobby pin here i'm about to pull it out there you go you did it i'm just continuing to pull this so they'll get closer even Oh my god, wait, hold on. It came off my bobby pin, but I'm so lucky because it's still out. Okay, that was terrifying. But yeah, just basically pull them so that they're even, kind of space it out through the shoe. And there you go. It's definitely not an easy process, and um, your thumbs are going to be really red and very warm after because it hurts. But it works, and I hope that this video helped you and saved you um, so you're not freaking out anymore because you pulled it out. Uh, but it is still hard to rethread it, so um, try your best not to pull them out. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did or it helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. See you in the next one. Bye!